hoped on his name. Look, with the honor call for greatness, the chosen of few that carry the gift Welcome of genius. Who do what they do? Presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. Back with the living legend, Gilbert Arenas. Shannon. Joined by Brandon Jennings. We got a special guest on today's show. We got Nick Young making his debut mm -hmm. on Gil's Arena. It's going to get spicy, so we had to say that for after we talk about this. So we got to talk about the Ja Morant situation. Last time we discussed Ja was last week on this show. Mm -hmm. At that point, the Washington Post had released a report about a bunch of alleged incidents that Ja was involved in, keyword being alleged. It had an impact to his play on the court. But then we got to fast forward this past weekend after the Grizzlies lost to the Nuggets in Colorado. Ja was spotted on his IG Live mm -hmm. at a strip club in Colorado holding up what appeared to be a gun. I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert. Some said it looked like <laughs> the noisy cricket from uh, Men in Black. I'll let them figure that out. But he was subsequently suspended two games by the Grizzlies as a result of that. Now, Gil, you caught some heat last week mm -hmm. because on this very show, uh, you were asked if you were the Grizzlies owners, what would you do about the situation? And you just looked the other way, said you wouldn't do anything. So now after seeing this recent IG Live video and this two-game suspension, are you still looking the other way? Yes. Oh, okay. It's my business. I, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? This is, this is, you know, if you're a Grizzlies owner, they're like, Ja, you're in the business of, Ja, protecting Ja, he's made you money. I think we have selective, you know, outrage sometimes where when you have someone, you know, in the media who their bosses do the same thing. I remember when Skip Bayless made the comments about the football player. Yeah, DeMar Hamlin after uh, he passed. And I think every athlete, every athlete wanted him fired, correct? There, there were some football. Yeah. Did he get fired? He, he's Did he even apologize? A, he's still getting a Fox Sports back. He, he, he offered half-hearted. Half-hearted, but he, they, they looked the other way. When uh, Shannon Sharp was down at the Laker game with the Grizzlies, and he was, you know, arguing with the players, did the Lakers kick him out? He, he they looked the other way. Out. So your bosses look the other way when you fuck up. So why am I getting back last saying this is what I would do? This is my this is this is my business right here, in the public. I'm gonna tell you that I don't see nothing behind the scenes. We will have a discussion and have that conversation, but that's between me and you know my my player. It has nothing to do with the public. I don't have to appease you guys. You guys are not doing anything for me. This is what me and my player are gonna discuss. We're gonna figure out how to move forward. We're gonna figure out how we can address this as a group. But to you guys. It was nothing. Okay. The only difference I'll point out with the, the Skip situation, Shannon, they have they work for Fox Sports. They don't work for the Lakers, don't work for the league. Ja is not representative of the NBA. He is a role model in this league, whether he wants to be or not. So Skip and Shannon are not role models now? I mean, I would. Well, how are we, we, wait, hold on. We're, Skip's not a role model. Shannon's a former athlete. Wait, they're not role models? People on TV are not role models? Skip's more of a hoe model. Oh. Huh. Like I'm trying to figure out, like, I mean, we're, we're all in the same business. They, we, we're working under some type of corporation, okay. right? Yeah. So if, you know, the NBA, ESPN, they're a corporation, then, you know, they have the same responsibilities. So if their bosses is looking the other way, then I, I see no different. So I'm going to make up an excuse for um, the weapon. It was, it, was a, it was a filter. You know, you know, you know these, you know, these... These phones I, today, I these phones today, they, you can use filter, and that was a filtered gun, right? So Brandon, what you, what you think about it? Filtered gun. Uh, <laughs> I'm with Gil. I'm going to just look the other way. Um, but I think it starts from, like, your crew. Your crew, I think, um, you know, we all made mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes when I were young. Um, but it just starts with your crew and your people that, that's around you. Um, I think that's where he should clean it up. I think his father should come in. And just you know, kick everybody out. You know, at this point, I think it's. I think this is a time where he just needs his dad, him and his, you know, him and his son, and they just need to have that grown man conversation, a lot. But you know, like you said, I'm just gonna look the other way. Everybody does something. Mm -hmm. Like we all have done some crazy things. But I think it's just more. This is where you know his dad can come in and really just you know, you know, be that father figure. So we're gonna get into more of that in a second. But Gil, gotta talk to you. So. Seen a lot of former players, a lot of media pundits. Everybody's had something to say about this Josh situation. But I feel like 
you've been in this situation before. You can actually really speak to this. Because, you know, when Josh started training this weekend, you started training too. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you don't have shit to do with this situation. <laughs> but everybody started talking about, obviously, previous things that you, you've been involved with. Uh, and everybody started uh, pointing out uh, that you received a 50-game suspension from the NBA, right? Uh-huh. But people think that the NBA gave you that 50-game suspension for bringing guns into the Wizards' locker room. Allegedly. Allegedly. But I need to know from you what really went down. Oh, y'all want to go there? We do. This is oh. Gills Arena. Oh, oh, okay. So, oh yeah, David's not. Uh, David Stern is not not here anymore. Uh, me. Rest. May he rest in peace. Um. Okay. So, ooh, Ja. Well, this actually might help Ja out and shut up everybody, since you know the rest of y'all just don't know. Um, I've I've never gotten suspended for guns in the locker room. Um, so, you know, I, I guess they're using 50 games as the benchmark because that was what I got. But um, my meeting with David Stern was I read every um, piece of paper that had to do with weapons in, in the NBA. And, you know, I don't want to name other players, but, you know, one player that was on the bus had three game, or two game suspension. It was a loaded gun on the bus, which is NBA property, two game suspension. Um, the same player had a loaded gun on the airplane. That's NBA property too, which they didn't want to, they didn't want to say that was NBA property. And I was like, that's only three games. So uh, a second offense just added one more game. So two loaded guns on NBA property. So an uh, unloaded gun in a locker room that, um, that was there is only two games for First offense, one game at most. So I'm not taking no 50 game suspension. So, you know, so we were going back and forth about, you know, what the rules said and what you're trying to do, which didn't make sense because there's also, you know, not on league, um, on league premises, guns were, you know, shot into the air, most was seven games. So if you ask any voter, which would you take? Unloaded in the locker room, loaded on a plane, loaded on the bus, shot at you or shot in the air, which one seems more safer? And I'm pretty sure unloaded, you know, is probably the safest one. So therefore, um, I'm not going to take your, you know, 50 games of suspension, so fuck off, right? That was my, that was my stance. So uh, therefore, um, the real story is I got bullied into 50 games. So. Again, on record, I've never been suspended for guns in a locker room because they couldn't prove that those were my actual guns in the locker room. My crime was I said those were mine. There was no fingerprints. No one ever seen me do anything. So I claimed them. Um, what I got suspended for was detrimental to the team because when the media was attacking me, like Ja, I was reacting emotionally. Right, you were attacking my character, not knowing what the fuck was going on, and I was acting out. That's where this came from. So I got suspended for mental issues, that I wasn't mentally fit, which means I was suspended indefinitely until furthermore, until we evaluate the, si the situation. But it, all it was was to get me out of the media because the story was too big for one or two games. Um, and I also said, fuck that, fuck you. I'm not, you know, that's, that's not how this works. So they decided to say, well, you're going to take it. You're not going to go to the Players Association and fight this. Wait, who, when you say they, who is they? Oh, uh, it was uh, David Stern and the, the new guy now, Adam Silver. Okay. So Adam Silver, which he was standing up at the time. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't in a position to sit down with the rest of us. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was just standing up. Um, so, um, Basically, no, it's not basically, it's what happened. He said, you're going to take 50 games or I'm going to come after your contract. So at that time, you know, I just lost my Adidas deal. And then he's saying, I'm going to take your contract if you try to fight this. I mean, uh, you know, that's a decision I had to make. And it was like, well, sit there and make a decision. So I'm sitting here looking with Javaris. And we're sitting there like, uh, I mean, you you don't really have a contract to, to worry about. You know? So, you know, I'm like, all right. I, I, I mean, who am I, am I going to fight the commissioner of the NBA 
at this point, you know, so I took the 50 games and shut the fuck up. You know, and it was like, I'll see you. I'll, hey, nice. Congratulations. I'll see you next season. That was the end of it. That was, yeah. So David Stern essentially strong-armed you into taking that 50-game suspension, mm -hmm. allegedly. Yeah. No, 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 there was no, this, this is no, no, we're not going to no, do this. Okay, you're gonna, I'm, I'm deep. You're going to take that shit back. You're not a quote, air quoting. <laughs> you're not pocket. air quoting. No, he, no, he, he Suge Knight me. <laughs> he gave me the Suge Knight treatment, boy. It was safe. We heard Melo tell a similar story. Like, look, I, I, I know who you move with. I know your whole crew. Keep fucking around to find out. You, you, okay, so to be honest, I'm going to just be honest here. Like, did I believe him? Yeah. I mean, I, when I say I believe him, I, I seen his power. And his power was this. And I had to respect it because when he, when he used his power in my favor, I was, I was all for it. So it was this. It was, it was my 2005, six season. I made the, um, I'm averaging, you know, 29. We're in fourth spot. That's when you know, uh, Detroit Pistons. Maybe that's why I hate them fuckers over there. It was Detroit Pistons, and they were doing that, um, you know, reward winning. And then you had players um, that uh, they used four players for the All-Star. And um, somehow I got pushed out. But, you know, um, you know, two players were in from bottom bottom teams. You know, you had uh, Paul Pierce and Bosch made the All-Star. And they were in bottom feeding teams. And I'm third or fourth in scoring it, and I'm not in. So Jason Kidd, um, so Jermaine O'Neal got hurt, and, Jer, uh, and Jason Kidd, I have a jersey over there that basically, uh, you know, we, you know, he signed it, and you know, my big bro or little bro and everything. But Jason Kidd told David Stern, if he doesn't get picked, he's not playing for USA Basketball. So he, so Jason Kidd tried the strong arm. And when A. Polden, may he rest in peace, heard about it, he cussed David Stern out. And, and he said, if you even try that with my player, you're gonna, we're going to war. And David says, said, don't worry. I know who the all-star is. It's going to be your guy. You know what I mean? So, you know, to, to say, you know, USA basketball, Jason Kidd, you know, you're talking about Jason Kidd at the time. And he's like, all right, I don't worry about that. This is the real all-star. Just to see that power play, you know, so when he, when it went against me, I was like, ah. And, you know, I just, I just went on about my business. So the real, like, I didn't really get, I don't think I got screwed out of anything with the 50 game because I was acting out. And that's why I say I know what Ja's going through because I was, I had the same behavior. You know, I was calling out um, Al Sharpton, fuck you, and you coon. I was doing all that. You know what I mean? Like, if I wasn't suspended, I was going to be a terrorist on social media because everybody who came meet me, I was coming back. Um, but, you know, Javaris didn't do any of that. He was quiet. He didn't say anything. So he got 50 games under the same detrimental mental evaluation as me, and he didn't really do anything when it came to what I got suspended for. So I feel that he actually got screwed over in that whole process. But, you know, so all the 50 games that everybody's throwing around and definitely it's, it's a false narrative that was created back then. So we can clear that up. You cannot suspend them for 50 games because the rules, NBA property, it's only been two and three games max. And this is his first offense. If it went on the NBA plane, if not, then uh, NBA needs to fuck off because this is not their jurisdiction. jurisdiction. And I hate to try to correct you, but you said Javar's 50. He got actually 38 games. Shout out to the, the production team for always keeping us honest. Wait, that 38? Was rest, but that was the rest of the season at that point. Then I was 38. Oh, wait. You got playoffs. Oh, too. we made. So did Javar's play in the playoffs? Then it was 50 games, too. <laughs> All right, we ain't gonna just be correcting shit around here without the correction of the correction. It that's was both we, of us 50, but it was why the, this is Gil's but, arena. But it was, a, it, was, it was just the rest of the games. Whatever the rest of the season was, he's correct. It was that, but it ended up being 50 games, but it was originally just 38 rest of the season. So Brandon, which is about seven million. Okay, I, I might never see it in my life, so. I lost $50 at a Wiener Center one time when I was six. I still think about that 50. So that's seven million, a little bit more than that. Uh, I got it back through taxes by going to Orlando. Okay.
Okay. And that's what, okay. And that's how I got to Orlando. Since we all was, since we wanted to say the truth, that's when I wanted to trade. That's how I got to Orlando because I demanded you're going to pay me back for the 50 games, so I need to be in a, a, a state where I don't get taxed, so I can make my money back. Like, oh, it was it was more than the shit they want to you know report on. Now it's time to go zero to 100 real quick. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, got to bring out the living legend, Nick Young, making his. Debut on Gills Arena. Yeah. Presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. I don't even got to make the show, man. What up, man? I don't even got to make it go viral, man. How you doing, bro? Well, I don't know you, dog. Woo! Yeah, hey, last time I seen you had on booty shorts. You got on nice little pants, man. Yeah. I like it, man. How you doing, baby? Uh, Classic shit, right? You like it, huh? Hey, We're going to upgrade it a tad. This shit I do for you. <laughs> you can be a part of something like this, huh? Uh, nah, nah, you know, I don't want to be a part of your shit no more, man. <laughs> I, I heard a bunch of bullshit before I came in here. <laughs> well, it's cool. Let's go, man. Let's get it started. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we got to talk about though, these man. sixers. You good, man? Okay, that's what we need to see. <laughs> we need to improve black on black relations. <laughs> so let's get into the zero to 100. Now, let's go talk about these sixers first. Sixers are third in the East right now. Snap the buck, 16 game win streak but they're 0-3 against the Celtics this season. So, Gil, I'm going to start with you. What are the chances, 0-100, to 100, that the Sixers are the most dangerous team in the East? What? What, the most what dangerous. are the chances, 0-100, to 100, that the Sixers are the most dangerous team in the East? The most dangerous? The most dangerous. Uh, 25%? Oh, at least, I, mean, I thought you were going to yeah. say 0. 25%? Like, uh, I mean, no, I don't know. Average. I'm going to go 0%. <laughs> Damn. 0 I'm what you think, Nick? I'm a little 50. Okay. Is that because you played in Philly, so you have like a little Philly left? Yeah, I just, you know, MB about to be MVP. Gonna be feeling good about himself, you know? You think MB's getting the MVP over Joker? Over Giannis? Nah, they can't give it to Joker, dude. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. We're gonna, we gonna get into that later <laughs> in the show, but that's a, that's a bold proclamation. But we're gonna talk about that. But let's talk about, we talk about MB. He's been playing at MVP level the past couple of seasons, but let's talk about James Harden. We're, we're a West Coast show. We show love to our West Coast mm -hmm. guys. Audubon, legend, Artesia. So Harden did an in interview with Keith Pompey, and he said this. I don't know what they want from me. You know what I mean? I've been doing this thing for a very long time. I've been one of the most consistent players in this league since I've been in. This was basically in response to the all-star snub, coaches around the league not really rocking with him. But when you look at Harden, he's putting up 22, 10.8 assists per game. I don't think he qualifies for the game minimum, but that would be leading the league in assists. So, I'm going to ask you, start with you first, Gil. Damn, why you got to start with me all the time? Start with him. It's Gil with We're going to start with him. Well, start with like Gil. No, start, no, start no, with no, Gil. Don't tell him what to do. Don't tell him what to do. He want to go to you, let him go to you. <laughs> <laughs> he pay my checks, though. He keep my kids fed. <laughs> so, why doesn't James Harden get the respect that he deserves? Truthfully, I, I just think people are... You know, when you're consistent at something, you know, people get tired of it. And I think because he does the same thing every year, I think people want to see him do the same thing, but in a different fashion. So, you know, moving without the ball, probably doing some post-up, but the fact that he's been doing, you know, the dribble, 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 step back, I think people are just tired of it because they haven't seen it, they haven't seen it win. In, in, in a, in a, in, on, a, on, a, on a big stage. So I think, that's, I think that's it. No one's questioning, can he score 20 and get 10 assists? They've seen it at the highest of his. Well, I see him do, do, big, get 30. 30 and six, you know, you know, so I think that's all it is, is that, you know, we want to see you, like, win with that style or score 20 and 10 from another fashion. I think the Brooklyn situation kind of look like kind of put all of them like even him KD and Kyrie all in a, like a kind of a, a messed up situation but I think James leaving they're kind of just kind of like you said just it's kind of like the same thing it's mm -hmm. like you're getting the same thing every year but I think if he wins then yeah but I think everybody's ready to take that next step which is uh, getting a ring so is it, is it the Houston Houston to the Nets Nets to Philly thing because knowing what we know now Harden seems like he was the first one to get off that Titanic yeah. before it left the dock. Like, hey, it just wasn't a good look. I don't think I, I never liked it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Me, like I never liked that big three. I never thought it was gonna work. Okay, Nick, what about you? Um, I don't know. I just think like they, 
Just the media got it out for him, man, in Westbrook for some reason. Like, he can't do right. Even if he ball out, he went up against the Warriors. I don't know what they expect him to be KD, Steph, and Clay, and myself, you know. <laughs> he can't do that. You know, it ain't his fault, you know. Yeah. But I don't know what they expect. They, he went up against them, what, three years in a row? And they, I think ever since then, they mad he couldn't get, get past them. So. It just ain't worked out for him. Right. Really. Well, that's what the the three two lead, but the CP three yeah. three, but the zero for twenty eight from three. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was, it was a tough. And one. I think a lot of stuff do be like off the court, like your off the court stuff. Like like people like look at that too. They 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 like you know they put they they they, they just make that a thing. Like and, and, and I I just you know? don't like the fat fact that you know you I know you supposed to judge us on who we are, mm -hmm. um, but we don't judge. You know the judges on what they do outside of you know Sports Center, you know Stephen A. or I mean not Stephen A. but you know Skip and all these guys. We don't judge you guys on you know we don't know if you're married. We don't know if you have kids. We don't know what the fuck you guys do. We just judge you for the shit you say at your job, and we would like to say respect. Judge me for what I do in these lines. I don't what I do outside has no you know if it starts affecting my actual play, yeah. then it makes sense. But if, you know, if I go to the club, you know, five days a week and I'm scoring 35, shut up. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever you got to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me do what I do to get me ready for the, the, this floor. Right. Like, as long as I'm producing on this court, as long as it's legal and, and, and Harden, you know, he might like strip clubs, but he's sponsoring businesses. He's helping. <laughs> he's helping people, you know, feed their families. So I got to rock with it. <laughs> Putting you up. You know? <laughs> A lot of women do scholarships, huh? Yeah. At the strip club. You know, putting them on scholarly. But let's talk about Doc Rivers. So when you look at Doc Rivers. He's still a coach. He's still the coach of the Sixers. Mm. 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 Won an NBA championship. But he, he did? He, yeah, well, come on, Gil. When? Oh, he it. <laughs> oh that, that was, I, I always credit that to KG Paul Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> he was the coach. He was the coach. I didn't know they had a coach, 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 coach that year, to be he honest. So he won that championship, but he's also <laughs> blown three 3-1 three leads in his career. Yeah, he was the coach the of those teams. Yeah. So, so, he, so he don't get the credit <laughs> for the championship. You see how I work? We push narratives on this show, too. We push narratives, too. So, But how much pressure is on Doc to take this team deep in the playoffs? I, I really don't think there's any pressure because for the last five, <laughs> six years, I mean, he's done, he's done shown every which way how he can lose. Yeah. I mean, I, let's be honest. You did have that Clipper team that was playing well in the bubble. And I don't know if this, this, this was out, but um, he was fired if he didn't win that game because yeah, I heard right. he was golfing the day of the game. And he came in with his golf stuff and he was basically focused on you know, how he played that day. And, you know, um, one of those big two was like, if we don't win a day, he's fired. Okay. Man, he was, yeah. Allegedly, or this is, this is. Oh, no, I don't do it legit. I would have did that. Okay, I'm, I'm a. Damn, for real? No, no, yeah, he was, he cared more about his golf game than that, uh, that, that, that important game. And then, and then he was already on the phone with uh, Philly trying to get a job. Okay. I feel like that Hawks series messed him up. He lost to the Hawks, but Philly. Philly? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, ooh. Oh, let me rewind. Y'all yeah. remember the, um, the, the, oh. Denver, the Denver series when they were up 3-1? Yeah, it's the bubble, right, 2020? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, I might have got him fired. Okay, so, <clears throat> so um, you know, Calvin Booth, my man Calvin Booth, who's in Denver. Right there in Denver, yeah. so Calvin Booth, you know, we got Denver connection from. So I, I send, I send a scouting report, and this was the scouting report. It was, you have to treat Clippers like animals, in the sense of like tigers, right? If you shorten how much they can eat, they eat each other, right? So as, if the game goes like over under, if it goes in the 220s, they're all getting their numbers, so they're all full. If you can keep the, the, uh, the, the total scoring between 212 and 200, it works in Joker's favor because he's a half-court player. And then um, it would be shortened possessions in a game, which means Lou, um, Paul George, Kawhi, 
and Harold, uh, they're going to fight for possessions because they're all averaging 20. So if you shorten the game, if you shorten the possessions, they start to do un what's the name? So I was like, once you win game uh, game four, if you win game four, the other game five and game six or game what, five, six, and seven are going to be easy because Doc doesn't know how to adjust to anything. So this game plan will work the rest of the games. Just keep the games low. Doc wouldn't he wouldn't um, adjust to it. And I sent that. Game yeah. seven, 193 points. I know. I'm just, okay, I'm just telling you. I think the media fucked Paul George up that year. Oh, I also said, I said. He was dead. No, but oh, and remember, I, you remember I told you about Paul George and his mentality? Mm -hmm. That was part of it. I said, he don't want to be there anyway, so yeah, double him. Dead. Fake double him early so he sees the double, and it fucks him up mentally. So that was my game plan to, to do it. Yeah. You did this free of charge? Good, free of charge. I, I need that consulting bag. No, I did it free of charge. Like, I, Send him an invoice free of charge. Like, like, if you ask Calvin Booth, it's, I sent it. I even sent the one, I, the, the, oh. the, the, um, the series before that with Donovan Mitchell. I sent uh, the, the game seven. It was the game seven. I think they had the game seven, and I sent him a player uh, breakdown on him. What you do when they play the Lakers? What was that break there? I was a Laker fan. I didn't send him Come shit. On, man. I didn't send him shit. I didn't send nothing to the rest of the day. But that's what I did. Like behind the scenes, I was sending like Dame stuff when Dame and them was playing the Grizzlies. Yeah. Um, in that play in game, I was sending Dame, you know, player breakdowns. I was. But, Gil, I'm, but I, don't want, I didn't want no credit for it. I just did no it. Credit, you know, just every did time you send them some shit, they just won, huh? Hey, and I was led to believe hey, you don't understand hey, basketball, hey, so. This is y'all too. This I'm not saying it, hey, I'm saying it. Every time that? you say some shit, they just win, huh? <laughs> Break it down, baby. <laughs> I break it down, baby. <laughs> I break <laughs> it down. I be, in them, I be, be behind the scenes with it. That's what it is. What, me too. I say Arizona, like, we have an Arizona group chat, too. Yeah. I put it in the group chat. I put it in the group chat. Group chat you, put, you put the UCLA scout in that group chat? No. Yeah, that's I, don't I, that's I, don't watch, I don't watch I don't watch JV basketball. Ooh. You play JV. So why you gonna watch? Pac-12 champions? Oh. Hey, how you play JV? Never played Thank JV. Thank you. It gets spicy. It's getting spicy in here. I've got to move this thing on, though. Yeah, right. cool. Got to move it. That's my job before it gets too spicy. Yeah. We know, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to mm, yeah, prevent man. black always, on black crime. Let's always attack the character, man. Y'all ain't give us a reader right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Grant Williams. And y'all know this is something that, that you know a little, little something about. So Grant Williams headlines Monday night. Tricked off two free throws, 0.8 seconds to go. Game oh, time. You know, yeah, you're right. He knows something about that. He knows a lot about that. But this oh. is the difference, though. No, I know it ain't. No, but when, yeah, when LeBron talked, team, when team. LeBron said that to you, did you respond? Same no, team. I didn't respond. You, you didn't respond. She, mm -hmm. did. Grant Williams told Donovan Mitchell, I'll make both. He proceeded to make not a drop. Still did respond. He responded just how LeBron <laughs> wanted him to. He <laughs> tapped him on his chest like, hey, thank you. Hey, you missed these. He's going to win. So, got to uh, put in the chances, chance zero to one hundred. That's 100. why he liked LeBron. <laughs> he helped LeBron win the championship. <laughs> he didn't even win that year too. <laughs> what are the chances zero to one hundred that Grant Williams re regrets that trash talking? Well, he ain't gonna hopefully. He oh, uh, I don't think he's gonna regret it. I think he just ain't gonna do it again. <laughs> he ain't gonna do it again. So I give him the. I give him sound. You actually gonna get percentage? Because sometimes we just skip through it, and the fans at home have pointed that out. I don't mind it though. These are conversation starters. I'm gonna skip through it then. I don't think he's gonna do it again, so I don't need to give him no number. I think he is. You think he's gonna do it again? Yeah, yeah he, he got to. I think. He Everybody is. not you, yeah. Gil. He's in. You think he's gonna do it again? I think yeah. he'll do it again. I think. I, yeah, it's regular season game. I think in the play, he'll do it again. You the only one that never went back to the free throw line. <laughs> So now we got to talk about it. Gil, you had the similar experience with LeBron against the Cavs. Much bigger moment. No, 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 no. It wasn't the same, it wasn't the same, it wasn't the same similar. experience. Similar. He ain't trying to free throw sin. <laughs> <laughs> Gil only shoot threes after that. <laughs> but you've been in that, mm -hmm. that, that spot. What does Grant need to do to get his confidence back? <laughs> First of all, wait, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> We're not gonna put us. That, that, that's more like Nick Anderson than it is me. What? Right? Mm. Stop trying mm. to put people. First, mm. one, one, mm. one. 
What? What? I had like 40 something that night. I had to carry the load the fourth it quarter to get us to it overtime. Don't it don't to get us to overtime. What I don't happened? know what Grant did. What I don't happened? know if he had five points, ten points, but I know he ain't had 30 and something and then hit the that's hit the buzzer worse. and so hit the worse. buzzer beater. No, I was tired. Probably. I don't know. He dropped a cool 12. Yeah, this was a, this was a, a did, cool 12. Though. I did that the last three minutes to get us to, to, to overtime. Okay, so mm. to get us to mm. overtime. Which one, you know what was worse, Which one was worse? Mine was playoffs. Mine was yeah. worse. Mine was worse. Mine was worse. Because I was swagging when I hit the shot. I was I was on one. Mm-hmm. And, and, then, and then they <clears> hit a game winner. See, at least they went in the overtime. Yours caused a game winner to get you out. This why I don't like this why I don't like your kids either. No, 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 I'm saying when we get off the air, <laughs> your son gets, he don't get his ass punched up. Just, just so you know, all right. <laughs> Next question, please. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> nah, say no, allegedly. Nice. <laughs> Nick got a yeah. kid in my he, he going hard on the iPad. <laughs> so let's move on. We got to talk about Bronny. So LeBron was on one this weekend with, with the tweets. Yeah, he's been true. Yeah. <laughs> so Twitter figuring lately, after tweeting about a dream he had going up against MJ in the Duke UNC National Championship, the game tied at 94, five seconds left. Wait, hold on. Then he had to wake up to PP. That's going crazy. He put himself on Duke? That's what LeBron Raymond James Sr., a tweet that came from his account. Come on, man. What Where should he put? Arizona, UCLA? Where would you? I don't care. Not Duke. Like, Kobe picked Duke. But we know these players wouldn't have played there. Yeah. LeBron wouldn't have That school's Duke. trash. Duke is trash. Yes. For basketball, though. Yes. I think the campus life is so trash that it makes you have no, to focus man, on the listen, gym. There's listen, no distraction. Listen, and that school was a bunch of trash. They put out a bunch of trash until they started doing one and dones. Right? Mm. Before the one and dones, they didn't have no successful, real successful NBA players like that. For the stuff they were, they were putting out role fucking players. Besides Grant Hill. They were putting that, out yeah. role players. Jay Will had I think I think their who? 2001 Jay squad. Will. He was Jay Will. Will. That it's 2001 I mean, he got, squad. He got rookie of the year. Who? Jay Will. I don't, I don't, I don't talk to him. I don't know him. He got that his ass go. by, uh, If uh, I bust your ass, I don't really know him like that. Let that hurt so, go. So, Let that so until go. he got that, U, yeah, that, that uh, USA title and he started using that leverage against them one-and-done kids... Duke was trash. Mm. Good as yeah, he was using it one day. Hey, come on, yeah, you know, you know, I got the plug on the USA game, so you can come on over and go to school. So of course the Kai, of course the Kyrie's and the Tatum's are gonna come there, so they can have that pipeline of USA basketball. Don't get me started. Good, you gotta let that hurt go. You're right. This you're right. Like, this you're right. Like some I'm, I'm being Skip Bayless, right <laughs> Bayless right now. I'm being Skip Bayless right now. You're right. All right, let's let it go. This feels like some yeah. Coach K slander. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let me go. Of some, uh, some Filoni's decisions that he made. Usa, let me Usa. You're right. Filoni's I got to let it go. It's been, Did you get recruited by this? It's been about, hell no. It got to be like, 20, it's been like over 20 years. I got to let that some go. Some redeemed team Filoni's right, decisions. My, my bad, Duke. I got to give y'all fair credit. Y'all have been, y'all been good for the last 10 but, years. But I'm not even talking about that tweet. I'm talking about LeBron's tweet on Bronny. But so. I was just wondering why he was, he chose Duke. That's all. But, okay, Duke is a good school, so carry on. We got to talk about Bron's tweet on Bronny. He said, man, Bronny definitely better than some of these cats I've been watching on League Pass today. Shit lightweight hilarious. Damn. So yeah, what are the chances? Like you, what are the chances zero to one hundred that Bronny is better than any current NBA player? One hundred. No, no, no. I want to know what team he was watching. That's that's the that's the real thing. Only two teams playing yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. I want to know the players that were, I got to jump on. Oh yeah, I want to know the player he was looking at like, my son, but way better than this shit right here. Or Bronny just got the password and, and hopped on real quick to fire it off. So you think Bronny's better than current in, any NBA player right now? Like the in, like the current NBA. You know how many players are on that team that shouldn't even be in the NBA? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. For sure. For sure. Yeah, for sure. You rolling? You, I mean, you saw him. He was at Sierra Canyon. I yeah. seen you out there living it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like him. I like him. Po- he's poised. He's poised. He's very poised. He's very poised. Uh, he reminds me a lot about uh, a, a lot of Drew Holiday uh, when I was in high school. Just poised, nice jumper, defender. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's better than Austin Reeves. Strong arm. See, I, see, no. I didn't want to. Uh, no. 
Thank you. No. Who you call See, him? he must have been watching the Lakers. Damn. <laughs> that brings me to my next question. He part. wasn't watching the lead pass. He was. So, so we've got, you know, our crackpot production team. We got some investigators. So he tweeted this at 8.43 p.m. The only game that was on at that point was Raptors Nuggets and then the Pelicans game. Yeah. The Pelicans play. Pelicans Kings. Pelicans Kings? Yeah. Raptors Nuggets, Pelicans Kings. But he might have it might have been lingering from earlier in the day. Yeah, he could have been, yeah, he could have been watching the, the Laker highlights and yeah, you know, that Man. makes sense. Yeah. So follow up to that question. How many current Lakers players <laughs> would LeBron trade for Bronny if he could right now? What, what package would you give him? My uh, half. So, uh, no. He's an asshole for this question anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? That's his son, though. Like, I ain't dry snitching, but it was in the dock. So I have to ask you. As Gills Arena <laughs> co host. Uh, for his son? For his son. Scotty At Pippen. this point? Scotty oh, Pippen Jr. can go. All of Austin them. Reeves can go. Oh, we gotta, we're going to bring Austin Reeves on the show. And we gonna let him come uh, outside. I, I, I don't know who the rest of the, the team is. Isn't Scottie Pippen Jr. on there? Yeah, but he's 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 nice though. Too bad. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he'd get rid of Pippen. Yeah, yeah but they, but play they, they play together. They play together. They play together. But my son though, yeah, they can all go. Scotty. I'm pretty sure the only person that's probably safe, and uh, he's not <laughs> safe if we go closed doors, but safe publicly, <laughs> is Anthony Davis. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Anthony Davis is the only one that's safe. We close some doors, get rid of all these motherfuckers. <laughs> from my son. Yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, everybody, can go. <laughs> everybody, everybody can, go. can go. So everybody. trade deadline, the way with everybody. everybody slaying second round picks. How many second round picks is Bronny worth? Is he, is he getting to that three to five range? Like, how many second round picks to make a first round pick? Listen, we're talking about a father. Yeah. Like we're not talking about you're not talking about a general manager or like well, some we're talking about a father, so I'm pretty sure anyone can go. Hey, any y'all would would Bron trade himself or Bronny? Uh, no, no, no. He would no, sacrifice no. himself to get his. That son. was a dumbass question. Okay. Dumb I'll ass take it back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, let us know. Yeah. After you like and subscribe, you can pack yeah. me up in the comments. <laughs> I will I'll take an edible before the show, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh so let, now let's get to uh, Gil to quote you. Uh, you got to remember. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, cool. Okay. Got to remember. Mm -hmm. This is the 13-year anniversary of the legendary Kobe no flinch game against the Orlando Magic. Mm -hmm. Matt Barnes, my former teammate at UCLA, a man who doesn't, you know, run from smoke, mm -hmm. pumped the ball in Kobe's face. Kobe didn't react. So I got to ask all three of y'all, and Gil, I'll start with you. This is your show. You pay the bills. What's your favorite Kobe memory? Actually, that is a great memory because 99.9 .9 of us would have flinched. Like, oh, well, <laughs> you got me. You know what I mean? So the, 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 just to see, like, just to see the mentality of him in, in, in the moment. Like, we all say we're going to do something, but we really never know until it happens. So to see what Matt did and he really was cold, Stone just lets you know, like, he was really just a different dude. Brandon, what's your favorite Kobe memory? I got two. I, I want to say my rookie year, after I scored 55, we played him at home. And you know when we come into the center of the court, you know, everybody's dapping up, boom, boom, boom. And, you know, I'm waiting, you know, kind of waiting on Kobe to say what's up to me. And he kind of go like, like, look at me, like, fuck out of here, young <laughs> And then, and then he hit the game winner that night. I knew it was on. And then another time was when he was when he was guarding the point guards. When he when he went on a stretch of guarding like Kyrie one night, and he was mm -hmm. guarding guards, and he was guarding me. The whole night it was just like just his intensity, and it was just like, yo, this guy is different. Mm -hmm. Like he was just different. Was he talking to you at all during that? Uh, no, he was just giving me like pointers. Like like I remember I hit an and one three on him, and he tapped me on my side. He was like, "Good shot, young fella. Okay. Like, you ain't getting that again." But you know, it was cool though. And was, you, you didn't get it again, I imagine. No, nah, I didn't. Okay. Nah. Yeah. Nick, you got to play with Kobe. Oh, yeah. oh that, that yeah. practice. Yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what happened? Your that favorite practice? Kobe memory? Probably when I was talking, just going back and forth, talking trash in practice. Okay. When he called us soft white Sherman. Yeah. Um, I got a lot, man. I got a time when he. Like between him and Gil, I don't know which one was crazy, man, you know. <laughs> Kobe broke my thumb and didn't think he broke and then told me to still practice. And in practice, he was hitting my hand and throwing the ball all hard. That 
And I was telling him, like, chill, man, man, it's really broke. Listen to the people. He's like, nah, he ain't hurt. You trying to get out of practice. So he kept passing the ball hard. I was hitting it down. And it was crazy. Then the next, later on that day, I ended up going to get an MRI. And they ended up telling Kobe, yeah, his finger really was. He tore a ligament in his thumb. So Kobe was the first person to call me and, you know, You're like, Gil, like Gil would do, apologize, try to take care of me, <laughs> throw some money my way, you know. You know, that's she, uh, she like some hoes. Yeah, right? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Throw a little money over there. Shut up. Uh, make, make me feel good, you know. I, I got a quick one. We all <laughs> LA guys, so I got to talk about that 2011 lockout. Kobe pulling up to the Drew League. I was up there mm -hmm. filming. Just the fact he did it, you know, y'all played in the Drew. Y'all know how wild and rowdy it gets. It's, it's much higher level of just energy than an NBA game because you got real ones on the court. Normally, these would be people being the 300 level, mm -hmm. up close to personal, kids holding babies, cussing them out, talking shit. Literally, I remember interviewed a bunch of people like, y'all here to see Kobe? And they were like, no, nah, we're here to see Casper Ware. And they were fucking dead serious. And I'm just like, Casper Ware was the, the, the Drew League MVP at that point. But he had Harden guarding him. I think he dropped like a 54 piece on him. At that hit time? the game winner. Huh? It was at that time? Not at that time. What? Casper Ware was the man at that time? Yeah. I mean, I, I kid you not. I think he was the MVP of the league that year. I think he was still at Long Beach State at that Casper point. Casper Ware. Yeah. Wow. That's but, when it wasn't at the King Drew. It was yeah, in the hood. Yeah, it was in the, the straight hood. Yeah. Like, and fans have been out there five, six the, hours. The crazy part, we had a, the lockout meeting. He went straight from the lockout meeting to the Drew League. Okay. Crazy, yeah. Okay. See, I didn't know that part. Yeah, it was crazy. He pulled up a little late, and everybody was like, is he really going to show yeah. up? Came through, hit the game winner. It was funny. His team was down like eight points in a minute to go. Cop tried to get him to leave because it was a circus. Like, yo, Cub, you want to dip? And he's like, no, nah, I'm trying to finish the game. Proceeded to put his team on a run, put him on the back, and win that joint. They won? But, yeah, he hit the, mm -hmm. hit the game winner in hard face. Gil played in the Drew. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of speaking, speaking of, of playing in the Drew, two got into yeah, it. Yeah, we got into it in the Drew. We did get into yes, it. Yeah, we did get. He into wasn't it. even playing we did though, get, and he was at the free throw line again. Yeah, yeah. Man, talking I shit, did. talking shit, right? Yeah. Oh, listen, 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 yeah, listen. He was doing that. Yeah. He was, doing that. <laughs> was, like, he was doing that. He was doing that to me, hackling me. You missed a free throw, good? Yeah, yeah. And then Gil, no, no, no. Gil, go come to me. I'm rich though. Hey, no. You remember we had the game? We had the game winner, right? This is the <laughs> funniest part. He dinner. just talking shit on the side. And um, I came <laughs> I wanted to prove the nigga so bad to hit the game winner. The play was for Nick. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. play was for Nick. I hit that hit all back, boy. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> But it's like a picture of me. Like, I hate these little ass kids, man. I hate these young motherfuckers, man. I'm out of here. Hey, think like Nick, don't invite year. me here no more. Play no more. I ain't never played no more. I think it was like my second yeah. third year. Yeah. Never so, came I back. never came back. Hey, <laughs> fuck it with me, man. But Gil was cooking that first, though. He was cooking before the playoffs, man. <laughs> this shit, shit went that out. That free throw line. That's that's what, hey, that's when I knew I was getting old. When the youngest, like, you washed. Like, oh, man, that. Washed, you hear that? You that washed, hurt, like, right? and that hurt bad. That hurt. I mean, I was, I mean, you was killing me my rookie year. I know, but I that's because awesome. you couldn't do nothing. He you said, Wash, and I ain't got no legs. He's no legs. Yeah, they go buy you either. Yeah. Man. This shit is sad out there in that court. Boy, I be feeling so bad. I wish it was a 2006 over again, boy. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our last segment of the show. Y'all heard of OnlyFans. We got mostly fans. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of fans. We got some haters, and, and they definitely be in the comments more than the people who love the show. So we appreciate y'all for keeping us employed. So, Gil, Danny from Tucson wants to know if you saw the J.J. Reddick and Kendrick Perkins get into it today on First Tank. First Take. I'm That's first Tank, I'm thinking about. Damn Rockets. So, J.J. Reddick and Kendrick Perkins got into it on First Take today. And let's hear what J.J. had to say. What we've just witnessed is the problem with this show where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are, they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. I, I you ju not, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, you did. That did is exactly not, what you implied, Kendrick Perkins. <coughs> so, Gil, got to know, <laughs> who's side are you? And this is regards to a Joker winning three straight MVPs. Perkins tweeted something essentially saying that he was going to be favored in that, that race because of, not because of the content of his character, but because of the color of his skin. <clears throat> okay, before I choose sides, can we... Uh, You're talking can, about Nash one, right? Yeah, Nash, Nash Nowinski. Can we Nash. narrow it down to, are we talking American white, mm. Caucasian? Because 
European is considered Europeans, not actually that's, that's a debate. white because I'm pretty sure right. like we're, I know census I know yeah. census has been trying they trying to put everybody who has you know the Mexicans uh Asians they sh you just got to check white or black I know that so it, it all depends on what you're what you consider where is white. Caucasia is the yeah. question no, I'm just saying, what is it, what is, what is, are we talking American white or are we just telling, the, 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 no, I'm just saying, or the color skin, that's different because I didn't consider, I didn't consider Nash, he's Canadian, um, Joker is what, is that Siberia, is he, Serbian. Serbia, Serbia, and like, though they, you, they're considered Bird. Europeans if they're not American, so the last white person to win an MVP was Bird, yeah. in, in, in yeah. my what's the name, so I wouldn't consider them being racist unless they like had, Gordon Haywood or Kevin Love as MVP. So I can't, you got to have to break it down to me what we talking, skin or real, what we consider. It skin. all depends. Say skin. Skin? Yeah. So I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, if we're going to go say skin, then I got to answer it. All right. Um, Still have to I can't say you, you're racist when, you know, it's, you know, Fact a sprinkle right. here of, you know, you know, we, we considered white. I mean, it's. So I'll just, I'll just point this out to you, and I got two things, but I'll point this out first. So when you look at the 2022 MVP voting, around 20%, a little bit over 20% of MVP voters were black. Majority were white. Mm -hmm. NBA is about 60 to 70% black. So when we talk about implicit bias in the voting process, oh. you got a league that's 60 to 70% black, and the people that are voting on the best player in that league, and I also mentioned that only a handful of those voters actually played basketball. Mark Jackson, Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, Kendrick Perkins, to name a few. So we know who Kendrick is going to gonna vote for. Okay, we get it. But, okay, <clears throat> here's the real question. If we flip it, and if it was 70% black, right, <laughs> would Joker ever win one? <laughs> <laughs> would Joker ever win one? No, it'd be with half fleet right now. Yeah. But, but no. she no. is. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. She yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Nash yeah, and, wouldn't have had the two he Nash oh, wouldn't have had the ones he had. He Kobe? deserved the one, but he no, deserved two. No, no, Kobe would have got both Say, those. No, no, no. Kobe, Kobe deserved that shit, one. Shit, sure. How about how about over Dirk? Dirk Dirk would have never won one. So what are we sitting he here complaining have. about? Dirk would have won one? I don't feel like Joker deserved three though. Why not, who would have got what? Who I mean, listen, at the end of the day, the, the, the last few ones between him and and, and Embiid. Right? It's not it's not like it's it's someone's been screwed, it's just him and or Embiid. How do you Giannis. Guess? Giannis. Giannis? Like, Giannis? They get tired, like, they get tired of Giannis winning, so they said we ain't going to give him I mean, it's, I mean, to be Giannis, honest, it's been Europeans LeBron, for the yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. If those, you're saying, that, you know, white by definition, American white, we, I mean, we haven't seen American black in a... 87? I mean, I just said it's either way. I mean, it's, Europeans is, like, playing well, so they can't knock them for it. But, I mean, if, if we had to vote and it was 70%, if it was 70% black people making the votes, I'm pretty sure it would be all black. Do you guys think it will be a European player in the top five ever? Top five? Ever to play the game. Do you think a European player will ever be in the top five ever? Who would you take out? Well, if Dirk is not there now, then... If, if, if Giannis yeah. is Greco <clears throat> saying, like, yeah, what if yeah, Giannis so, will get, like, two more, three more, like, two more rings? It, right now, it can only yeah. be because Dirk is out, and he's not in the top... He's not considered top five, so he's out. Um, now it's Nash is out. Then it only goes to Greek... Giannis and Joker, who has the future to try to get or, there. Or Luka. Luka. Or Luka. I mean, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah, Luka. Luka. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, shit, even Embiid is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Embiid is not American. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. Like, I, I think America, like, if they don't play on the national team, American national team, USA basketball, goddammit, they're European. So. They other. They, they other. They other. So. Yeah, yeah, those are the only one. Those are the only one. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? No, yeah, maybe more. I maybe mean, more. honestly, in the top five ever? Yeah, ever. Bro, this ever. trajectory right now. You look at Luca. You look at Giannis. You look at Embiid. What we say? We can't say Embiid, but what do you mean top five? Like top five? Like top five to ever play the game of like in the NBA? Uh -huh. You have to take a lot. Uh, uh, damn, that's like, a cold. Would you consider <laughs> Kobe Italian? Hell no! Nah. Ain't nah, playing that bullshit nah, nah. with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> ain't doing that shit. <laughs> don't even. Don't, 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 don't you do that shit? You know. Right? <laughs> because he's, I mean, he didn't play. I, I look at it. It's national, right? We're we're, we're talking about uh, when we when we have to fight for our our countries. Where are those players? You know, if if Tim Joker, Duncan? if Joker and um, Tim Duncan. 
if Luca are not Virgin mm-hmm. Islands, mm-hmm. American, territory. American territory. Yeah. All right. So if Luca are not on a national team, if they're not with the like USA, if they don't have USA on their, they're, they're representing their country, so they're not considered. So what, think what y'all arguing about? Luca and Giannis can get to that level. Like, what's it, what's it going to take? Giannis seems like obviously he's closer with the two MVPs in the championship. He, How many more does he need to be amongst that top five? Maybe if you uh, do one uh, percent <laughs> African American on those votes, because <laughs> I, don't, I don't see nobody removing. No, nah, like because you <laughs> they can be in the top ten probably, but not in the top I five. Don't, so y'all vote nobody. Nobody. I don't think nobody. Goes Giannis, to I mean Giannis. Uh, Giannis, Giannis got a chance. Giannis got a chance. Giannis. Yeah, oh, man. I, I I still think Luca got a chance. No, that's. Nah. Just based on age and what, what he's got left, I don't, I don't. Do y'all y'all ever heard LeBron James? Yeah, yeah. Yo, no, you see how hard it is man, to get no. him in the top three <laughs> of these arguments. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just saying, and it may not play out like that. But where you looking at Luca's career right now? What he's done already? Top five in a limited amount of time. If he can do that for the next ten to twelve, I think that's a big if. Yes. Five? No, not because uh, Kobe, LeBron, and Jordan is three. Period. Kareem. And, and you got to remember, some people don't even have Kobe in the top yeah. five, which is they six, they six. they need to be drug tested anyway. Mm-hmm. So you got them three. Imagine. There's only two more spots. Steph is going to be in there. That, 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 as I said, you only got two more spots. Then you got KD coming on. No. No. Nope. nope. Okay. Not in the next. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Never then. Unless this, Victor kid show, if the, unless this Victor kid come in and be who he say. So, question for y'all. You said most people don't have Kobe in their top five. Why do you think that is versus when you talk to Hoopers, basketball players, whatever you want to title them, they all put Kobe in that top five? Because you got to remember, there's a difference between a Hooper knowledge and analysts. You know what I mean? You, you're not going to convince a Hooper that Kobe is not top five. Here, uh, here's an example. Who would y'all pick on a one-on-one? Who is a better basketball player, Manu or Jamal Crawford? You talking about like... Who you picking? One-on-one. I'm going to go with Jamal. Okay. Man, I love Jamal. I love Jamal. Yeah. That's tough, though. I like... You think Manu beats Jamal one-on-one? Not one-on-one. That's... One on one, no. Okay. No, no. One on one, no. But if we're, I mean, I don't. I mean, what are we talking about? Like, I'm getting it from right here, and I'm getting into my thing. It don't matter. I, I, we're well, not talking about. We're not talking about rings or systems. No, no, no. We're I, talking I, no. about just them just two games, just one-on-one. straight game. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't too many to fuck with Jamal one on one. Huh? Ain't too, Ain't too many, many people to fuck with Jamal one on one. Well, it's not too many people that can guard uh, Ginobili either. Ginobili's a dog. He's been a dog his whole life, though. I don't know. Yeah. He's been he, but, he's but, he's won everywhere. He, I I, I, I get not I get not the like let's take out the rings, but he's won everywhere and he's played in every big game everywhere. But if you had to, and, do, he, if and, you had and, to put and every your, time in the oh, well, it, okay, well, I'm gonna go with Ginobili because in the fourth quarter I'm gonna need a bucket and I know who getting me one. But if you had to put your life on them two playing one on one, who you going with? Oh Jamal, sure. <laughs> I mean Jamal, of course. But the, Jamal. but that's what I'm saying. But, but that's Jamal. one on one. That's not but, uh, five on five. But that's what I'm. But what, what I'm saying is we can only judge each other by like we have like when I when I evaluate players I take away their accolades, mm-hmm. right? Because your accolades is the team you're on. Yeah. So if we put Jamal there, his career is different. But if I say all right, take them both, play one on one. Who you putting your money on? Hoopers are gonna say Jamal Crawford. No analyst will pick Jamal Crawford. You know, so, you know, our, wh- who we see as good, because we got to guard these guys. We have to play against these guys. We're, we're seeing every single day. You, they're looking at stats and, you know, looking at little things, like talking about who's the best shooter of all time versus, like, that's, that's like, our voting is different than theirs. Mm. You know, so that's, that, that's the point I was trying to prove. That. Basically, like, who would get off more at the Rico run? Yeah. Jamal. <laughs> Like there's, that's what I said. there's players that you see in in in, in summer that that has when they when they're away from coaching oh, they're gosh. top they're top five in the NBA. They're top five, yeah. Period. Just hoopers all time. I see some. What, top- ask him what your nickname is. What your nickname is? I am legend. I am legend. <laughs> I am legend. <laughs> the one man psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, I gotta ask you: Did you consider Kobe top five when you were playing with him on the Lakers? Oh, uh, when I was playing with him on the Lakers? Yeah. 
He was at the end of his career, but but I'm not. I'm just saying, but his body of work career to that point, sure. he was top five to you. For sure, yeah. I think. Even after you broke your thumb. Yeah. And did he move to most, four after that's that? That's most players have him top mm-hmm. three. That's, that's, mm-hmm. that's, before LeBron did this, I had him one two, and two. two. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, like if like if you ask him, it's one, two, and three. Like. I don't, I don't it's how do you take Kobe out of it? See, that's yeah. what I said. It's, do you, yeah. like, I don't get that. You're gonna I don't somebody get the Kobe hate. I think it's because it he's so close to Jordan that mm-hmm. older people don't like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That it's like whoever whoever threatens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what we've known. Whoever threatens the throne, anybody protecting the throne, they're gonna try to figure out how to just. Nah, nah. Like, but I there's no hoop. There's no hooper that's not gonna yeah. have Kobe in the top five. And then you look at any ESPN poll and analysts, they, they won't they like, won't have him because you gotta remember. Seven, they had him at 16 or something. Yeah, because they're gonna have they're, gonna, they're, they're it's more personal to them. Yeah. They're biased because they're of how they had to deal with him. Like if yeah. I don't do an interview for mm. what you gotta remember, there's a hundred voters, right? Yeah. If a player doesn't do an interview with them. They take that personal, and they're going to take it out on them. That's why they shouldn't even have fucking votes. I like that. You know, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's where you get these fucked up, you know, polls at because the people who are voting, they have biased interests because they have to deal with players doing interviews and uh, having a conversation with the player, and if that doesn't work out well, they're going to take it out on you. Well, back to the Joker. So when they look back, this is going to be the Joker era. When you look back in time. Like, in the 80s, it was Magic and Bird mm-hmm. MVPs. 90s, Jordan, Hakeem, right? Shaq. No, 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 whoa. Hakeem Olajuwon won, no, but whoa. Jordan was out. When Jordan left, Hakeem won, didn't he? The 90s is all Jordan. It is, don't but when he to, left, Hakeem I don't give a fuck MVP. when he left, it was still Jordan. And, and we were still buying Jordans when he left. Dude, have you ever purchased a, he have you ever purchased and some Hakeem? I don't even That's know. That's how I feel like he Did is. you ever purchase some Hakeem's or some mailman? I had fucking pictures. You, have, like you had some boards? mailman's? Were they even mailman shoes? The Tectonic or Etonics? What do you have? Like, like, you I had, had to LA be, Gears. You had to be a cornball yeah. to do this with the layup. <laughs> No, but I'm saying. No, it's I'm Jordan. Saying, it's 90s Jordan, is Jordan. Jordan. And Shaq, hey, though. We, hey, we was getting this off, though, back in that time for, for some sure. reason. You were. Like, for like sure a good two-year window. 90s. Listen, 90s was, jo- 90 was, did, 90s was Jordan. You do not add anybody with it. MJ. MJ. 90s. But All right, saying, 2000s is who? 2000s is Shaq, right? And Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. But is the 2020s now the Jordan? And Tim. I'm and putting Tim in there, too. I'm Tim. You got to throw Tim Yeah, the, the, the 2000s was the 2000s because all the guys in the 90s were peaking and playing very well in the, the 2000s. So the 2000s is Allen Iverson. That's what I'm saying. And then LeBron Z- era. 210. I mean, the, the 2010s is then it was Bron, all Bron, Bron and Steph. Bron and Steph. So the 2020s, so is the Joker era. So we own it. Or the Yannis Joker. And Giannis, and Giannis. Giannis Joker. You got to throw 34 in there. But not if a nigga three MVPs. I'm like, my bad. Three MVPs three and three no MVPs? ring? That don't mean That's it's what I'm that saying. Don't mean it's that is cra- crazy. That's crazy. Well, no, no, no. It's but when you it, look back, this is going to be his era with no ring. Not, re- not no. really, because we don't consider the best. The, the, like, how are you saying this ain't KD's? Like, people are still having KD as the number one player. KD was with LeBron. The 2010s. We didn't even just, we, nobody Steph, just named him. LeBron, Steph, and KD then in that era. Yeah. Wait, who? LeBron, Steph, and KD? Two finals MVPs. Yeah, MVP, he got the, the mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, if, yeah. this is, if this yeah. is the game yeah. we want to play. Yeah. So those three in it. So Bron's sharing it with a lot. Because they didn't want to give him. LeBron didn't want it every year. And we, we're, we're in 2023, so wait, we got. No, Giannis ain't in this era. Yeah, Giannis won in 2020, right? 2020, right? 21, right. 2021 chip. Yeah. 2021 chip. Two MVPs. Not mm-hmm. what year? Hold on. No, because no, if Giannis 19, 19 and 20, 20. Yeah, he okay. Oh so yeah. He, he, he get pushed. He gets, He's he pushed. gets booted out the get 2010. Booted, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's over there. So that was he had his own era? So right now it's Joker's era. That's what I'm saying. And he get bounced out the first round every year though. Mm, by good teams though. No. Every team he no, yeah. Two two uh, the four years, two of them end up being the champions. One was uh, one went to the championship, the Suns, and then his 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 uh, his first one, he uh, he was one game away from being in the Western Conference Finals. It went to a game seven with Spurs when he had. Uh, That's it. We went, you know, 
Spurs was the last team in the Wilford call it. That was AC. And if you play, if the Lakers play Denver in that, who you got? When? This year? This year in the playoffs. Is Lakers, LeBron healthy? LeBron healthy. I got the Lakers. LeBron healthy is playing against Denver. Who you got? I got the Lakers in six. I got Denver. I got, got Lakers Denver? In six. Do you see the rest of the Lakers team, man? They I got like a the sub. Lakers. I like <laughs> they the got Lakers. The Lakers <laughs> nice now. They fun to watch. <laughs> Vanderbilt be out there rebounding. Who? Vanderbilt, see the guilt. Stop acting. You, you playing now. We hitting Genie, dog. It's enough. You playing now. We're we'll going to end the Austin Vanderbilt. Reeves slander. Vanderbilt. 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 Who is that? I like that. Vanderbilt? Is on, oh. Guys, we got it. Jerry <laughs> Vanderbilt. But hey, not, I don't know. we appreciate y'all pulling up. That's our show for y'all today. Y'all just be naming people that don't need to be named yeah. in conversations, bro. I agree they, with that. They have to yeah. earn, they have to earn they, they names, man. We're going like, to talk, talk about it tomorrow, Gil. They got to name, they name. The people got shit they got to do. Our Jeff crew got to go. They got to get to Van, their family. They said, he said Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. This has been another you know, Gil's man, Arena I'm presented by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy Group. Hey, we'll go. see y'all tomorrow. We appreciate y'all. Where my son go? Where your what? Where my son go? Oh, we kidnapped him. <laughs> I told you after this after this show, I was putting hands on that little man. <laughs>